right, all right, Shag family. Welcome back to Syllable Holic. I am Dr. Lyrical Luck, your syllabologist for today. Happy Friday. It is a beautiful, beautiful Friday day. I hope you guys are having an amazing day as well and finished out your week on a positive note for the weekend. But uh, the patient I'll be diagnosing today, for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, will be Drake with the song Back to Back. I drew him out of the Patreon pill bot on the last video, which was the Tech 9 Shroud video. You can check that video out here. Bah! Uh, and uh, speaking of actually Tech 9 Shroud, I just want to give another huge thanks and shout out to Tech 9 for enjoying Syllableholic and my content enough to share it on his Instagram page. So thank you again, Tech. I am super thankful, super grateful, blessed beyond measure. So thank you again, bro. I'm glad you enjoyed the content. But other than that, if you guys want your request push the priority level list for me to draw out of the pill bottle head down to the description below sign up for a patreon account to help support the channel that way you have a better chance of me doing your video next uh, other than that let's go ahead and dive right into the content of drake with the song back to back everyone i'm sure has heard this song dope song uh, a little background about the song is that it is a diss track to meek mill uh, now i never knew that this was a diss track to Meek Mill. I knew it was a diss track. I had no idea to who. So did a little bit of research, found out that it was actually directed towards Meek Mill, which the feud started apparently because Meek Mill thinks Drake has a ghostwriter and doesn't write his own songs. So apparently the feud had been going on for a little while now and uh, Drake made a first diss, which I believe was this charged up one. I've yet to hear actually, so uh, I can't really speak on that. But this was supposed to be the follow-up diss to the first diss, which is why this one's called Back to Back, because it's Back to Back disses, diss tracks, because Meek never responded to the first one. Apparently, he just wrote something on Twitter, and that was it. So Drake came out about four days later with this Back to Back song as, like, just, like, double tap on his enemy. <laughs> so we're going to break down the content, get into the bars. So without further ado, smash that like, smash that subscribe button. Let's get into the bars. Get your erections ready for that bargasm in the bar breakdown. Let's get it. Drake hasn't even come on the stage yet and, and the girls are already flipping out. <laughs> Must be nice. some charity today for the kids but i'm used to it cause all y'all charity cases all y'all stare in my face i hope you could be the replacement niggas are snitching on us without no interrogation i stay silent as we at war and i'm very patient six god is watching i just hope you're prepared to face him i'm charged up oh, so this is definitely the first diss the charged up he said meek mills a snitch for without having an interrogation and he said, I hope you're just ready to face the six god, meaning himself. Oh, this is going to be... I got to check that diss out, too, after this one. I'm charged up. Yes. So the start of it, I learned the game from William Wesley. You could never check me for all the ones that uh, didn't get the message. It's talking to Meek Mill, right? Meek Mill obviously didn't get the first message when he got dissed. So now he's dropping this back to back the title of the song, right? Back to back disses. William Wesley is uh, like one of the most influential and successful businessmen in sports and predominantly in basketball. So the way that Drake set up that bar uh, you can never check me because you check your opponent right when you're about to start the game. He's like, Meek, you can never check me in this game of rap. You can never even play me in this game of rap. I'm way too too high of a skill, way too high of a caliber for you to even touch me. Oh. And then he said, uh, back to back, like I'm on the cover of Lethal Weapon, which is like one of the most successful franchises, right? And on the cover of it, they're back to back, right? I'll show you guys a, a picture of it just so you guys could see visually right here. But uh, 
And then he said back to back, like I'm on uh, Jordan 96, 97. And we all know Michael Jordan was like in his prime, prime, unstoppable stages, 96, 97. Drake saying I'm untouchable. I'm unstoppable. I am in my prime. You can't stop me. Oh, savage. Smash that like button for Drake. Let's get it. I fucking love that. How he just set that up where to go with the song back to back. He just replayed it back to back. Oh man, that's too good. That is just too fire. The fact that now I know that he's making this diss to Meek Mill makes it so much better. Because I had no idea who this was directed towards until I researched it. So, <clears throat> he said, ah, oh, shit, I already forgot. God damn it. You gonna make me go out yeah, you're going to make me go out of my, my frame. You're going to make me step out of my way and buy bottles for Charlemagne. Which, we all know Charlemagne was like a known Drake hater. Just because Charlemagne likes to hate on anything good. But that's just my opinion. But he's a known Drake hater. So the fact that Drake is like, now I got to go make friends with my enemy, which also is kind of cool. Charlemagne doesn't like Drake. Drake doesn't like Charlemagne. But Charlemagne had beef with Funkmaster Flex's station, the competitor, right? On uh, Hot 97. Because Funkmaster Flex um, supports Meek Mill's diss tracks to Drake. So he was like kind of putting Meek on for that reason so Charlemagne pretty much named both Funkmaster Flex and Meek Mill Donkey of the Day so Drake's like man if I can't if I can't just do this like just give it to him like this solo I'm gonna make friends with his enemy the enemy of my enemy is my friend right so he's like now you're gonna make me go out of my frame this is not something I typically do I'm gonna have to go befriend Charlemagne now just because he called you a donkey of the day so he's gonna buy him bottles of champagne. Oh my god, that's too good. Out of frame, you gon' make me buy bottles of champagne. You gon' make me go out of my fucking way. I waited four days, nigga, where y'all at? And he waited four days, like I said in the beginning, right? He waited four days for Meek to respond to a diss track. And Drake's not known for diss tracks. Drake's not even known for rap. He's He sings. That's what he does. He sings. Meek Mill's a rapper. So the fact that Meek never responded to Drake is kind of like, yo, Drake. Or Drake's like, yo, Meek, where you at? I waited four days. <laughs> That's funny as shit. You gon' make me go out of my fucking way. I waited four days, nigga, where y'all at? I drove here in a red plane. I'm not sure what it was that really made y'all mad, but I guess this is what I gotta do to make y'all rap by me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I drove here in a Wraith playing A.R. Ab. A.R. Ab was like an underground rapper from Meek Mill's hometown, Philly, that also had problems with Meek Mill. So he's like, now, I'm just going to make friends with all your enemies to kind of put it in your face. So now I'm here driving in my, my, my Rolls Royce with one of your enemies from your own hometown. And, <laughs> oh, oh, man. That's funny. He said, you can't fool the city. They know what's up. Because after Drake dropped the first diss track charged up, apparently the uh, counselor of Toronto, which is Drake's like hometown, I believe, tweeted that Meek Mill is no longer um, welcome in Toronto. He, they tweeted that. That's crazy. Drake has that kind of influence that his own city is has his back. That's dope, dude. Smash that like button just for that. Yeah, for the city, man, they know what's up. Second floor, just getting shot rough. 
Just for y'all to think that I don't write enough Big man, cause I got the minus touch You love it and you gotta get a world tour Is that a world tour or a girl's tour? I know that you gotta be a thought for To say what she meant when she told you to open up more Yeah <laughs> That video, dude, is. Oh, I gotta rewind it real quick. I get a world tour. Is that a world tour? A girl's tour? I know that you gotta. That right there speaks volumes. Oh my god. Oh my god. He said, Is that a world tour or your girl's tour? Talking about Nicki Minaj since they're together. He said, I know you got to be a thug. This ain't what she meant when she told you to open up more. Because <laughs> as a double, right? Because Nicki Minaj came out in an interview saying that she wanted Meek Mill to open up to her emotionally. And, but the double on that is, he's like, is that a world tour or your girl's tour? Because you're piggybacking off of Nicki Minaj since he's, she's bigger than you. And you're saying that you're going on tour. And then the fact that he has this picture where Nicki Minaj is the husband and Meek Mill's the wife. <laughs> that's too good, man. That's too good. Oh, man. And then he's like, I, I don't think this is what she meant when she told you to open up more since Meek Mill's opened up for Nicki Minaj at her concerts. Oh, man. <laughs> that's too damn good. Be a thought for it. This ain't what she meant when she told you to open up more. Yeah. Trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. Yeah. You getting body by a singing nigga. I'm not the type of nigga that the type of niggas. And shut down all my boss bitches like the niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter or trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. You're getting body by a singing. He said you're getting body by a dude that sings. Like I said earlier. He's like, I don't rap. I sing, and you're still getting bodied by me. And you're supposed to be like this good rapper. I'm over here. Anything I drop goes gold instantly, which is 500,000 or more units sold. You get a gold plaque, right? He's like, I'm dropping shit. It instantly goes gold, platinum, double platinum. You're over here. You can barely even make a gold track. I'm getting all this from rapping, too, and you're supposed to be the rapper. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's, see, I just, it, it goes to what I just said. He put on an event. It was a sellout event. Me can't do that. But he's like, I don't want to hear about this ever again. Not even when she tell you that you're better as friends. When she's coming to me and telling me about your guys' drama, I'm not going to go out and post about it. Like, I'm not, I don't want to hear about this ever again. You can talk all the shit you want, but I suggest you shouldn't. Even when she says, I just want to be your friend because you're on the same team. Oh, oh, <laughs> man. You need better seen it. Putting on the show. It was a sellout event. Oh, you need better seen it. Toronto, I didn't want to do it. Give me every reason. The point I'm trying to make is I don't ever need them. See what you do for fame or what you do for freedom, please. Check them for a while. Oh, yeah, please, please. Please do not let these niggas near me, please. Think before you come for the great one, please. Who's a real nigga and who ain't one? Oh man, I already forgot what he said. Fuck it. Keep going. I'm talking bullshit. Checking for a YR earpiece goes back into him being a snitch. He said, I know what you'll do for fame and what you'll do for freedom. Obviously, you're going to snitch on everybody and do anything you can to get out of jail for your freedom. I've already seen that. I've already seen that. You'll do anything for fame. Maybe suck a couple dicks here and, you know, be the housewife of Nicki Minaj. <laughs> like, I already seen it. So let's check you for a wire earpiece so we know that you're not trying to leak out some sensitive information about us. Oh, man, that's savage, dude. That's savage. Oh, either. See what you do for fame or what you do for freedom, please. Check them for a while. Oh, yeah, please, please. 
Please do not let these niggas near me. Please. Think before you come for the great one. Please. Who's a real nigga and who ain't one? Please. Somebody stop me. I'm talking bullshit and one and one. I got the fist in five days. I'm talking Bozy and Guan and Wasi. That's like the Jamaican terms for, um, shit, what was it? Uh, Bozy was like, uh, like being confident or showing off. And then Guan and Wasi was like, uh, going on and on or going crazy. So Drake's pretty much saying I'm Bozy and Guan and Wasi. He's like saying I'm, I'm pretty much confidently showing off while going crazy at the same time. <laughs> Sick. I'm talking bullshit and one and watch. I've got the fist in five days and it's my shit. Soon as a nigga hit the stage, they go, they go ask if I can play the shit. Back to back. Yeah, they want it back to back. They go ask if I can play the shit. Back to back. I took a break from views, now it's back to that nigga. Man, that was savage. It makes it so much better now that I know that it was like an actual diss track to somebody. Tonight, Man, what the fuck? I'll now that I know who it's dissed, the diss was for. Man, time to diagnose Drake with the song back to back. Does he deserve a refill, aka is the song replay value worthy? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Meantime, doctor's orders are, does he deserve a refill? Yes or no? I'm gonna say yes, absolutely on that refill. That song is still a banger. I still would bang that song in my truck. It had fire, it had content, and Drake doesn't even rap. He's a singer. So the, the fact that someone that predominantly sings could rap and make a diss track at the same time is replay value for me. If you guys agree with my diagnosis, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, let's go ahead and figure out the next patient to diagnose out of the Patreon bottle. If you guys want your reaction to be drawn next, go down to the Patreon link, sign up for a Patreon account to get your request put in this pill bottle for the priority list. The next request will be Like I Died from Tech 9. That was from Cortex MC. That one's for you, brother man. That will be the next patient I diagnose. In the meantime, smash that like, smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed this content. I will see all you guys on your bar breakdown follow up. Peace.